So you're back to learn how to deliver a bowl. Well, today we're going to show you the second part in our four step series on delivery. This video is all about the stance. Let's get to it. We're back here at Heritage Greens Lawn Bowling Club in Kitchener, Ontario, my home club, to talk about the stance. The second part in a four step series of how to deliver a great bowl. Now the stance is that moment where you've got everything in place, you've got the bowl in hand, you're on the mat, and you're ready to actually make that delivery motion. The stance is actually big of a bigger overarching part, which is called the setup. The setup contains pre-delivery, the grip, and the stance. Now you're gonna get a little bit of bonus content. We're gonna talk a little bit about the pre-delivery and why it's so important, because it is part of a delivery sequence. We're not gonna get too in depth, but we're gonna talk about it. The grip, if you haven't seen the video on the grip, there should be a link up here to take you to that video. Go and check that out and then come back here for the second part. Now the stance. The stance has a number of key parts. Now we're gonna show you on our test subject and we'll toss it over to him now. And for the sake of anonymity, we'll call this guy Darrell. He's a member of Heritage Greens Lawn Bowling Club and he was a willing subject to show you all the parts of the stance. Now the stance has many pieces to it and Darrell here is gonna show you as many pieces of those as he can as slowly as possible. We're going to pause, illustrate, and change visuals so that you understand exactly what we're talking about when we talk about the stance. Now to begin the stance, you're gonna work on your back foot or this is your anchor foot. Now for right-handers, this is your right foot and for left-handers, this is your left foot. Darrell is right-handed, so he's gonna do everything as a right-hander would, but remember if you're left-handed, just switch this around. Now the back foot is the one that you'll place most of your body weight on. It is the foot that generally stays on or above the mat in accordance with the rules of the game. Now what we do in the stance to set this up is we walk from behind the mat, not the side or anywhere else, from directly behind the mat and you walk in the direction that you're going to actually deliver the bowl. So towards your point of aim. Now we can work on the front foot or the opposite foot. The placement of that foot is determined by your anchor foot. The front foot is positioned flat on the green, parallel to the anchor foot. Now this can be slightly in front or directly next to it. We do not recommend that you place your foot behind and then make a giant step forward. And we don't recommend that you put your front foot too far in front so that you can't actually get any motion to it. Let's talk about the upper body. Your shoulders, your body, your waist, everything should be facing towards the point of aim, not towards the jack or in any other direction. The entire body should be facing in the exact same direction. The upper body should have a slight forward tilt to it. We usually say between five and 15 degrees. It shouldn't be totally hunched over and you shouldn't be totally rigid straight upwards. Your head should follow along with your upper body. It should be at an angle, but you should still have your eyes fixed on your point of aim. Your head should not be tilted way up and your head should not be tilted way down. You should have a comfortable angle on your body and a comfortable angle on your head in order to see your target. Now that your body is all set up to push in the right direction, your bowling arm is the next subject. Your bowling arm should be allowed to hang comfortably with a slight bend at the elbow. Generally, we don't recommend hanging your bowling arm straight down and we don't recommend holding your bowling arm straight up. The bowling arm should be held so that the bowl hand is below the waist that's set up, not above and your hand, elbow, and shoulders should be in perfect alignment with the point of aim. Everything should be facing in one direction. No strange twists, no moving the bowl from side to side. Everything should be going in one direction. 
Now what do you do with the lower body? Your knees should be slightly bent. You shouldn't be standing up straight with your knees locked and you shouldn't be super crouched over. And your weight, the weight should be centered over that anchor foot. Like we said in the beginning, 80 to 90% of that weight should be over the anchor foot and the rest should be on that front foot. This will allow for your center of gravity to be in the right position to deliver that pull. Now that we've got everything else set up, what do you do with that non-bowling arm? We often prefer to tell people, touch your elbow, touch your wrist, or have it at your side not touching anything. You don't want this gripping the bowl or touching the bowl. You don't want this anchored onto your leg so that you have nowhere to go. Anchoring it on your leg just gives you a crutch. The entire point of this setup is to be balanced and comfortable. Balance is key. Now I'm here with the mat to just give you a quick rundown as we wrap up this video. Key steps, anchor foot along our point of aim. This is where your weight's gonna go. Front foot, slightly in front or parallel, not too far in front, doesn't give you anywhere to go, not too far behind, because it's a big movement and we don't want that kind of movement in our delivery. Shoulder width apart. This allows for a good balance and distribution of weight. This, obviously, too far apart, we're gonna get a weird distribution and, and when we actually go to deliver because we're kind of in the middle, we have to move that weight over. Gets us off balance. Too close and I find that you start getting in your own way. And when you actually do make a movement, it's, it's a very narrow line that you're trying to walk on and you can get off balance. Shoulder width is recommended. Feet are pointed at the point of aim and everything else should go with it. Legs, waist, torso, head. Everything is in this direction. No weird twists of shoulders, no weird twists of legs. That's where you're gonna get injured. That's where funky things like turning the bowl is gonna happen. You want everything in line so that it's nice and easy when you go through. We'll get more into that in the delivery, but it's important that you understand things in line will keep this in line, okay? Arm. After you do your good grip, the bowl should be below your waist. Shouldn't be up in any fashion. Should be below your waist, arm bent. Give you a nice flex so that when you do actually deliver, it's nice and smooth. Anything too far up and you have to bring it down and it's a little awkward. And anything too far down, you, you don't have anywhere to go. You want a little action, okay? Back and head, you want comfort. You don't want your neck strained. You don't want your back strained. When you set up, you want slight flex a little bit forward, not straight up and not all the way down. A little forward allows your head to look straight at the point of aim and be comfortable and in line. If I go too far down, my head's gonna be up. If I go too far up, my head's gonna be down and I don't want that. I want it to be nice and comfortable. Flexed forward, heads forward, everything is nice. And then when I get this, a nice flex in my knees, too straight, and I'm having to come down. I want that flex already so that I'm smooth when I go out. And if I go too far down, I don't have anywhere to go. And often I'm gonna be coming up. You wanna keep it as simple as possible, as comfortable as possible. And keep yourself safe by not having weird twists. Everything in line will make sure that you don't throw something weird out, like your knee or your hip or your back. And like we said in all our other videos and in especially the grip video, things happen to us during our lifetime that make us have to adjust to those things. Bad back, bad knees, hip replacement, bad neck, whatever it is, you need to understand what's going on, what's making you uncomfortable, what's causing you issues and make those minor adjustments. Everybody's a little different. 
So the method that we're showing you should work for everybody. It should be super comfortable, super easy, gives you the fundamentals of a really good delivery, but then you just have to make those adjustments for yourself. Now, bonus content. We did say we were gonna talk about the pre-delivery. So this is, this is it. The pre-delivery is super important. It is everything that you do before you actually take a step on that mat. Once you take a step on that mat and you get set up, you should be 100% ready to deliver that bowl down the, down the green. The pre-delivery, make sure that you are set mentally and with your grip in the right setting so that you can then set up and be ready to go. This gives you a chance to visualize the bowl going down the green, allows you to pick your point of aim. So I say, I need a wide swing around this bowl, so I need to aim farther out. So my whole body needs to be here. I'm doing a drive. I need to be right at that bowl. This is where I want to be. Visualization is key. We'll probably get more into that in a mental uh, side kind of video down the road. It allows you to visualize. Allows you to take a deep breath and drop that anxiety. I'm good to go. It allows you to give yourself positive affirmation. Some players need to just say, I know this bowl, I know what to do, I know I'm gonna make this shot. Now go and make that shot. This also gives you a really important part of the delivery, which is check your bias. If you have a good pre-delivery, you will never throw a wrong bias. If you have a bad pre-delivery or no pre-delivery, really, that's when you see people throwing wrong biases. A lot of people will get on the mat, get set up, be all ready to go, and then either for themselves in a singles game will say, ah, you know what, I wanna play the other hand, or their skip will yell down, hey, shot, I want you to play on the other hand. And then all you do is you say, okay, I was gonna throw over here, bias is in the right direction. Oh, you want me to play over here? Wrong bias. The pre-delivery, allows you to get here, make sure the shot is 100% what you want to do. Check your grip. As you're getting ready to step on the mat, you take a glance down and say, there's my bias. Or if I'm playing the other hand, I've got the big side over here. If you're on the mat and everything changes or your skip says something different, the pre-delivery is meant for you to come off reset, get that grip, check your bias again, and set up. Everybody has a pre-delivery. Not everybody understands their pre-delivery. Some are really quick, some are really slow. But if you deliberately put some things in your pre-delivery so that you do it every single time, like check your bias, you will never go wrong. You will never throw another wrong bias. Hope you enjoyed that bonus content. Hope you enjoyed the stance video. That's the setup, pre-delivery, grip, and stance. Try those things out. Our next video will be about the actual motion and delivery itself with the release. So wait for that one. And with that, may all your bowls be 